everyone, so I'm going to go over book number 4717, The Seventh Member State, Algeria, France, The European Community, hardcover, April 19, 2022 by Megan Brown. To buy the book, please use the following link. So this link will also be provided in the description box. That's how the cover page of the book looks like right now, and I'm just going to read the summary of the book for you guys. The surprising story of Algeria joined and then left the post-war European economic community and what its past inclusion means for extra-continental membership in today's European Union. On their face, the mid-1950s negotiations over European integration were aimed at securing unity in order to prevent violent conflict and boost economies emerging from the disaster of World War II. But French diplomats had mm, other motives. A two from Africa to Southeast Asia, France's empire was unraveling. France insisted that Algeria, the crown jewel of the empire and home to nationalist movement, then pleading its case to the United Nations, be included in the Treaty of Rome, which established the European economic community. The French hoped that Algeria's involvement in the uh, EEC would uh, quell colonial unrest and confirm international agreement uh, that Algeria was indeed uh, French. So then I will... Uh, French authorities uh, har harness Algeria's legal status as an official department within the empire to claim that European trade regulations and labor rights uh, should traverse the Mediterranean. Belgian um, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, and West Germany conceded in order to move forward with the treaty, and Algeria entered a rights regime that allowed free movement of labor and guaranteed security for the families of migrant workers. Even after independence in 1962, Algeria remained part of the community, although its ongoing inclusion was a matter of debate. But still, Algeria's membership continued until 1976, when a formal treaty removed it from the European community. The seventh member state combats understandings uh, of Europe's natural borders by emphasizing the extra-continental contours of the early Union. The unification vision was never spatially limited, suggesting that contemporary arguments for geographic bo boundaries excluding Turkey and areas of Eastern Europe from the European Union must be seen as uh, a historical. So thank you very much for going over this book also. So I'm just going to show you again the cover page please subscribe to the channel